How's it going, YouTube? Speckham Auto is back with a vlog video today. Um, y'all might be wondering, y'all might not be wondering. Some of you guys might know from the title of the video, but this vlog today is about the part two, part two of the uh, steering wheel project that I've been doing. Um, so as you guys saw in my last video, the first attempt was a fail. I had to swap the old steering wheel back into it, and I was very upset. But, uh, thankfully somebody mentioned to me in the YouTube comments that, uh, I could just do something else to, uh, make the swap work, and I did exactly that. And, uh, let's just say it might have worked. It might have not worked. But based on my demeanor, you might be able to tell the result. Because this, this beginning clip right here that I'm doing right now is uh, filmed after uh, after the uh, whole process is said and done. So, uh, alright guys, let's get into the vlog. Let's get quick into it. It's just going to be a quick, small vlog video today. It's not going to be anything, you know, big or thorough and whatever. It's just going to be a quick vlog video kind of giving you an idea of what i'm doing I'm give you the result of, at the end of the video if you guys want to see more specific details about what i did throughout the swap like removing the airbag removing the steering wheel swapping everything over putting the new steering wheel in putting the airbag back on they go check my last video which would be my uh, steering wheel project plus bonus content that video has also a view of a old Porsche and a old Triumph at the junkyard when I was there getting the steering wheel from the donor car. So, alright guys, let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, I now have the steering wheel out of the car again. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the guts of this steering wheel into this one. As you can see, I already took all the wiring and all the um, cruise control and stuff, you know, all the buttons and stuff out of it. Of course, I left the hands-free buttons in there at least for dummy buttons so it could fill the hole and not look ugly. I did take the paddle shifters out, but I did put the uh, little covers for them back in so at least there's no big holes in the uh, steering wheel there. So, I'm going to switch the cruise control wire and the wire harness for this into this, and it should work perfectly. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. This is all the wiring harness and the two paddle shifters from the donor steering wheel from the Honda Insight. So, all that has been removed. There's not a whole lot I'm going to film because... You guys have already seen the process of me taking the steering wheel out and stuff, so I'm not going to film all that extra filler crap. But I will keep you guys updated as I go. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch the wiring from this to this. And we should be good to go, guys. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so what I did is I took a screw out of here, a screw out of here. These two screws down here, flip it over, got to be careful. And then I took these two top screws out. That's how you pop the back of it off. So now you have this exposed. So now you, what you want to do is get in here. And you got to have to get into the screws that are in there to take, your, uh, take out your cruise control. And once you do that, that's when you pull all this out together. Move over to this one, put the airbag back in, put it back in the car, and the job's all done. Okay, guys, so following that, you take the two screws out from these two bottom ends right here, where this hole is on each side. Then at that, after that point, this should pop out, and that's when you can have full access to your button and stuff, and you can just uh, go ahead and take it out. by taking out these two screws and then you can pull it out swap it over 
Okay guys, so as you guys can see, we finally got that result that we wanted. Look at that. New steering wheel in place. Nice and all, nice and clean. Airbags hooked up, cruise controls hooked up, got working horn, working cruise. Everything is functioning as it should, so I'm beyond excited. I'm like full blown ecstatic right now. And I mostly I mostly fixed the steering wheel that was crooked. It's still slightly crooked, but I think that's how it was before. I think it's an alignment thing or something, because it does kind of feel like it pulls to the side a little bit sometimes, so I might have to go get that looked at. But I'm pretty certain that the steering wheel is straight again, and everything is functioning properly. So I'm freaking happy. A uh, huge, huge shout out to the uh, dude in the comments in my last video giving me the idea to swap the wiring harness because I honestly have never thought of that in a day of my life. Um, I am freaking happy. Hold on, there's a cop up here. I don't want him to see me on my fucking camera. I don't know, he's probably on his lunch break or something. Uh, Lancaster Police Department's usually really cool though. I like them. But anyway. Yeah, guys, uh, huge shout out to the uh, guy in the comments in the last video. Like, he, I, I seriously have never thought of that in a day of my life. Like, I was so fed up that day when my first attempt failed. I was literally getting ready to either sell the steering wheel or take it back to the junkyard for credit there. But I guess I don't have to now because it's in the car and it's functioning. So, um, I did keep the, uh, audio controls I had to cut the wires off of it because I don't know if I'm gonna use it later down the road or maybe find a way to hook it up or something I don't know but it's there just in case but for right now it's non-functioning and obviously the phones aren't functioning because mine's an LX Civic it doesn't have any of the bougie shit except for cruise control alrighty guys I'll see you back at the house okay guys so obviously we made it back to the house Steering wheel is doing amazing. It feels so great to grip my hands around that beautiful, beautiful material. It feels more luxurious. It feels like it belongs in this car. And quite honestly, I'm so glad I took the risk. It was a big risk, but I took it and I failed the first attempt. But thanks to the guy in the comment in the last video, I was able to do a second attempt and I actually succeeded. So thank you again to the guy who told me that I can just swap the wiring harness because, you know, it, that's that's just so simple. Well, why didn't I think of that myself? But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching my videos and supporting me throughout the uh, last, like, year and a half or so that I've been making videos for my channel. I keep going because of you guys. I keep going because I have fun doing it. It's fun to do. Occasionally, there will be one person that'll be a hater, and that's fine. I mean, whatever. It's just the way it is. You know, people just get jealous that you're brave enough to go out and do what you want to do. And it's kind of sad that people resort to hating instead of just trying on their own. Because there are people out there that are going to be watching your stuff if your stuff is good, you know? Even, I mean, even though I don't have the best YouTube content, at least I'm bringing something to the table that nobody really sees very often. I mean, I think I have some cool videos myself, but I do, I do know I'm not the best channel on YouTube. But, you know, you gotta start somewhere, you know. I'm just a normal guy that works a full-time job, so obviously I don't have a lot of time to film. And, you know, I have a lot of things to do in my personal life, and... You know, it's just, just the way it is. Maybe one day if if my channel does succeed very well, like if it keeps going the way it's going, and maybe if YouTube ever monetizes me, you know, maybe I'll have that extra money to do the really cool stuff that I want to do, the really cool things that more YouTube viewers want to see. But you got, you know, everybody's got to remember that Every YouTuber starts somewhere. Every YouTuber starts out as some regular guy. Unless you're, you know, unless you're like a rich person and you already had money and just start, you know, wrenching on, you know, 
auction cars or project cars or whatever it may be. But, you know, you start from the bottom and you work your way up. That's pretty much the way it works. But alrighty, guys, uh, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get Elf here, and get a nice shower in, cause I've been working really hard on this all morning. I literally woke up at like seven in the morning just to do this. So, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Thank you for liking and enjoying my content. Um, don't forget to like my video so YouTube uh, can recommend my videos to people, and you know, don't forget to share too and. You know, the whole thing of subscribing, hitting the bell icon and stuff. I do have a Facebook page. If you guys want to go check that out, it's Spec M Auto on YouTube. And then I also have an Instagram for those who are Instagram users and want to see extra content on there too. Also, I started a new Facebook group recently. Um, it's called uh, United World Car Enthusiasts. So if you guys want to go on Facebook and check it out and join, go right ahead. You're welcome. Any make, model, year is welcome. Uh, we do have strict rules on there. It's a very small group starting out, but, you know, obviously a group starts somewhere, right? And then, uh, those of you that are Honda Civic fans, I have a, I have a group on my, uh, Facebook too. It's also, it's called 8th Gen Honda Civic Non-SI Group. Uh, I'll leave the links in the, uh, com or not in the comment section, in the description below. But alrighty, guys, I will see you guys later. Stay safe out there, and I hope you all have a great day.